let's continue our part five circuit analysis method. This is about um, um, a voltage, actually about a voltage source, current source. The first uh, one is a DV non-equivalent circuit, TEC. DV non is, uh, was a French. Uh, I put a, a English pronunciation, DV non is not seven nine. Uh, it's 1857 to 1926. Now, DV non suggested, if we consider a black box inside, there are more than one uh, sources, more than one resistors, or even many resistors, many sources, is a voltage source or current source. In, um, he suggested we can use a single, notice here is a single voltage source and a single resistor to represent the black box. The so-called represents as to here, so those two external uh, terminals uh, behavior, uh, this equivalent is exactly the same as original. But when terminal A and B are open, the terminal voltage here, because there is no current, no voltage drop there, so this voltage is the same as that voltage. We call this is a VT, and that means DV now. The following actually is a example. This example is exactly the same as the one on page 20. We can use other methods to analyze this circuit. For example, we can use voltage current source conversion. Uh, we did uh, last time, we can convert this into a current source and then merge current source together. Uh, then you can back to voltage source. Or we can use um, um, a different way, like a uh, volt voltage, node voltage method. Also, we can, we can do this. Uh, this example is uh, how to find out um, DV non equivalent circuit effectively is how can we find out the voltage here and the equivalent resistor? Okay, uh, let, let's go through this uh, example. So that you can have more ideas about uh, DV non equivalent circuit. Now, our task is how to find out the voltage here. How can we find out the overall resistance there? Now, we can simplify this uh, circuit to that circuit. So that is uh, what uh, we, we discussed uh, before. Uh, previously, we discussed uh, an example. How can we simplify this circuit uh, to this circuit? Once you can do that, uh, effectively, this actually is a DV non equivalent. You have a single uh, voltage source, a single resistor as uh, output impedance. Uh, if you look at this uh, definition in there, this is a DV non equivalent. That is a DV non equivalent. Now the following examples let's leave to synchronize session. Uh, this the following example here, here, okay. <clears throat> All above there, we will do uh, a during synchronize session. Now similar to DV non equivalent circuits. 
there is uh, another one. It's called the uh, Norton equivalent circuit. Norton equivalent circuit theory says, suppose a black box contain a resistor network and sources. Uh, in 1926, uh, I make, uh, make uh, a note here, 43 years later after Divino, Norton, Norton, so it's an American, so 1898 to 1983, suggest that we can use a current source instead of um, uh, a voltage source and a resistor to represent the black box. To me, this is nothing new. Yeah, so already we learned how can we convert a voltage source into a current source? How can we convert current source to voltage source? Um, surprisingly, 43 years later, Norton suggested, oh, for this black box, uh, you don't need uh, to present, uh, represent this box by a voltage source by a resistor, but you can use a, use a current source uh, resistor. To me, this is nothing new. I don't know why um, this is not an equivalent circuit in textbook. I don't really understand why. Uh, actually, already we learned a current source. If you suppose this is a current source, you have a ideal current source and a parallel uh, resistor. So when a terminal A and B are short circuit, if we connect those two together, uh, there will be a current. This current wouldn't go through there because here is a short circuit. The current will go through there. So this circuit, obviously, in this case, this uh, current is uh, I n. This is uh, obvious. Now let's let's uh, consider what is the relationship between DV non equivalent circuit and Norton equivalent circuit. Uh, actually, we discussed uh, this uh, before. Uh, this uh, voltage source that is a current source according to source transformation, obviously. I n equals V t divided by R t. Uh, if we consider V t, V t equals I n times R n. Yes, already we learned. And uh, those two exactly the same. Oh. Uh, here is an example. Let's leave to synchronous session. So example, 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 example. Example. Okay, all those uh, examples deliver to a uh, to a synchronous session. The next um, <clears throat> concept is uh, about maximum power transfer. Now we just uh, discuss. Uh, uh, Norton equivalent circuit, DV non equivalent circuit. Uh, in this uh, box, it doesn't matter how many uh, how many components inside of this box. But always you can use uh, uh, DV non equivalent or Norton equivalent to uh, to stand for to represent. Now, when you uh, connect a load uh, resistor here, that is uh, RL. It's a load resistor. Uh, how can we work out what is um, what is the maximum power which can be transferred to RL? If we, we use a Divinon equivalent, uh, we have a Divinon voltage, a Divinon output impedance, and then you have this, this uh, load resistor. <laughs> The question is, what is the maximum power to be transferred to RL? The power transferred to RL, we can simply use this equation. This P equals I squared times RL. Uh, we can easily work out what is I. I here, that is I. I equals RVT divided by those two. R T plus R L. That is I. 
So we take uh, this uh, result to back replace I, we have a VT divided by RT plus RL square times RL. So that is uh, your power. Uh, because of VT, RT, uh, in this equation, VT, RT, uh, VT, RT, those are two are fixed. That is your source. And that is a fix. So now actually we need to find out the relationship between P and RL. To do this, what we uh, need to do is a uh, differential. Differential, uh, find out the differential according to RL. We can find out the maximum power by differential and uh, let the differential be zero. If we uh, take a differential of this equation, here is a P equals this. Now with differential dP, now we need to find out dP divided by dRL. And here RL can change so that we can find out when maximum P is. So if we um, take differential of this equation, we can find out that is a differential result. It's a little mathematics. And then we let this um, result equal zero. Um, uh, here you have uh, uh, two square, you get rid of this, and then this equals one. You can find out RL equals RT. So it's quite uh, interesting. Let me go back to this uh, original circuit. To, to uh, get a maximum power, you need to, to make sure RL equals RT. Uh, if RL is bigger than RT or RL is smaller than RT, your power would be smaller. That is uh, mathematics uh, tells. It means when RL equals RT, the, the power transferred to RL can reach maximum. Uh, by this uh, original equation here, we can work out what is the maximum power. We just need to, to replace RT by RL or RL by RT. This is the same thing. It's RL equals RT. So we go back to that equation, we can work out that is the maximum, maximum power is this. That is the maximum power can be transferred. Now we can draw um, uh, from this uh, equation, we can draw a, uh, draw a curve to show this uh, relationship. Uh, if here is a RL, that is R, RL, that is a P, is a power transferred to RL. When RL equals RT, you reach maximum. And that is uh, what this uh, relationship say. From this uh, curve, we can, um, we can see three specific cases. If RL equals zero, no voltage drop on RL. So the power is zero. Uh, go back to original one. If RL is zero, that means here is a short circuit, obviously, so nothing there. You can't uh, consume any energy. That, that is uh, here, the point here. Yeah. RL equals zero. If RL approach to infinite, no current through RL and hence P equals zero. That is the second case. If here, no RL, this is open circuit, obviously no current through this path. So there wouldn't be, wouldn't be any, any power. So power, again, power is zero. That is uh, this point. Uh, the third uh, uh, specific case is uh, when RL equals RT, the P equals this, VT squared divided by 4RL. Yes, that is a result we, uh, we got from this page, from this page here. And the following is an example. That is the example. We leave the example to synchronize session. 46, 47, okay, I stop here.